Meow. Says Alice from school. We like to play together. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Swing Point, and welcome back to a little bit more Fran Bowl. There's going to be two parts left to this one, and then the next one, and then it's done. It's pretty crazy to think about. We've gone through so much with Fran Bo, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and I would say go into what's the culmination of what Fran's Wonderland is. This is probably the most messed up you're going to see it, and it's pretty darn good. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Where am I? Come on, Grace. I'm chained here. What? Is that you? What's going on? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Uh, really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? What do you mean after what he did? What did, what did, what did, what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. I feel like you killed him, Miss Grace. That's not true. It can't be true. It's a cat. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? You can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. Oh, what a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. Uh, Aunt Grace... Don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied, Fran. What, what are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't, don't you worry about the lies. Okay, now I've had two theories. One that I thought about later. I thought I figured maybe Aunt Grace did it, or one thing I thought about from the very beginning, which I wasn't sure about, is that maybe Fran killed her parents. Not sure. The seeker of the truth will always die, because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. For the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. And goodbye, door. Oh, please don't leave me here, Aunt Grace, come back, please! Why is she acting so strange? Why blame my cat? Kitty gonna kill my parents? His claws are so tiny and soft. But I hope he's fine. Well, what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't know. I, but if it's true, how could I, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is inside my head. Wow, man. Wow! Whoa, God! Okay, never mind, that just happened. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello, what are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? This is like little, little Fran. This is like even littler Fran. Your bed, this is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? Well, I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are like myself. You are you really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. Do you, do you think I'm dead? Oh, no, 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 not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. <laughs> yeah, people only die because they think they're dead. They, who are they? All the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yeah, a man called Leon came to visit once and he told me everything. Oh, and, uh, can you tell me then why, why do we see the things we do? Wasn't Leon in that book that we had, like that really, really long book that we had? I bet you there's a bunch of stuff in there that we're missing because of that book. What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Yeah, good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Wait, who's Mr. Midnight? Yeah, Mr. Midnight wasn't a thing yet, was he? What? That's our kitty, you know, our, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. Since it so happens I am a key collector. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
Well, if I was a key collector, where would I keep my keys? In here? Wow, that's... That's very... Very good! <laughs> well, now I can go unlock Fran. Cool. Well, let's use my keys on myself. I, I'm really curious to, like, get to the end of this and see what the hell is going on. Hmm, let's see, which key? Aha! Unlocked! <laughs> now, get on out of there. Cool! This is really weird, man. I... <laughs> type thing. Thank you so much, Fran, huh? Yeah, you sure got a lot of keys in there. Ah, ah, yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, wait. I don't know who's talking to you anymore, before I forget. The Palantra... Oh, you know Palantras. Palantras told me that if we met someday, that I should give this to you. Here! I think it'll help you open something. Okay. Palantras, you know him too? Oh, wow, thank you. Yeah. And he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for about to what, what's about to come up. For what? Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Lay down! Pretend I don't exist! Oh. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep playing through the game, guys. I'm not even gonna try to think about what's going on, because it'll just hurt my head. It'll just hurt my head. It'll just hurt my head. Oh, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about, man. The nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the only one lying to me. Oh, yeah, there was a gun in... You remember the gun in the asylum? She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay. Well, we got a golden box here. Oh, wow, look at all our stuff. What does it say? The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears. First twice to the left, then once to the right. I rub its only eye two times and see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Oh, God. Whatever that means. Well, let's see what we got in the closet here. Who's this little girl? This is Alice from school. We like to play together. Ha 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 ha! Alice from Alice in the Wonderland. Ha 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 ha! That's amazing! <laughs> That's cool! That's cool! Let's see what else we got in here. Ew, there's cat hair all over it. I won't wake it. What? Okay, whatever. I'll take this, I guess. It's my school case. I might need it. That was pretty funny. Let's see what else we can click and grab in here. Balloons in many colors. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so my house is kind of a little haunted right now. I'll work on that. A Kamala, you nasty creature. Okay, so we collected a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we can do to start getting out of here. I gotta open up this box somehow. Left ear, left ear. Right ear. Eye, eye. Left ear. Eye. Oh, I got it! Nice! Boom! I am the master. So, what is all this? Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is a kitty key. Let's see what this does. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka! <laughs> the horned child is playing with the light again. Malakas is angry, shining too bright. Mother Mabuka! Wake up, wake up, give up to the child before the darkness ends. And the hand of the. Oh, God, I gotta get all this crap. I gotta get all this crap! I wonder what my cat has inside of it. Use a key in my cat. Use on you. And. Are you gonna make a door? No way! <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'm going in. Let's go hang out with Alice. Jeez. This game makes no sense. Oh, my goodness. Is that me? Is that me looking at me? That is totally me looking at me. Okay. Well, this is weird. You and your creepy little eyeball need to stop whatever the heck you think you're doing. Let's grab this key and start. Start adventuring. Well, let's try this one. Aha! Cool. Now we can go down here. And start collecting all those things on our list to make an ECOG clock, I guess. That's what's telling me. So I need a bulb, a wake-up clock, a soap bar, one glove, a black wire, and a bottle of water. So I'll be back when I make all my crap, or get all my crap. Thanks for the key, sir. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need this key. There's a lot of doors, dude. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. Oh, you won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It could be hard to get that key without his permission. Uh, what, what, what can I do to get the key, then? Um, first off, who are you, by the way? I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. I am... Welcome to Mabuka's den. <laughs> Who's Mabuka? 
You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't leave. Just leave. Just, just get out of here. Roberto, come on. I've never been here before, man. Don't judge me for not knowing. And tell me who Mabuka is so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Ooh. The darkest darkness. The obscurity the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Um, am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. So Remor's not even a big deal. Okay, I'll be back later anyway. I gotta get your friend's key. Okay. Oh, inside the little house, there's a key. I already got that. Whoa, that's creepy. That is uh, definitely pretty creepy. Well, it looks like the door to 10, the key to 103 is up there, but I need to get up there somehow. So I'm gonna talk to you about your plank here. Um, hi. I'm not a done mother. I'll take this bath after this one because I stink. Uh, who told you that? Huh? Who told you to stink? The creeps that walk on my skin, they are getting sick. They vomit everywhere. They eat my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is supposed to smell you talk? I stink like the most unpleasant stitch. Um, I believe you, but I, I can't smell it. Sorry, I, I gotta go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want the soap. <laughs> Please. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Terrible problems. Yeah, yeah, like my flesh is all rotten on the inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. For, maybe for you. Can I just have the soap for a little while? All right, take it. It's yours. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the soap. But be careful with your hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and then keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. Thanks, though. Um, going over here now. Okay, that's a big old creepy eyeball you got there. I'm just gonna take this brush. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? Um, I'm sorry. I am Akula. The eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Uh, I'm, so I'm sorry. What a, what a big eye you are. You must be able to see very well. I see everything. Nothing of us. Can you see my cat? How about that, huh? Your cat? Huh? How's it possible you own a cat? Are you royal? A queen? A princess? Uh, like we're friends? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Oh, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help inside a cage. Oh. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Uh, could you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Fur is very dark. Black is the deepest night. He has a pink nose. And a pink nose, does he? Oh, it's him. It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. Mabuka is asleep. I'm waking her again. And in disgrace. Um, I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. <laughs> ha! You are brave, and I respect your bravery very much. Thanks, Akula. Friend, by the way, nice to see you. Just let me let me take this brush. Thanks. <laughs> Let's pull this. Aha! Uh -huh. I go enter into this. Oh, I'm up here now. Good, 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 good. So I'll be able to get a key, won't I? Insert button. These lips. Wow, you're you're a great little monkey. I'm just gonna take this now. Thanks. Is that how I get into 103? Well, maybe it'll help me somehow. I don't know. Maybe I can like grab the freaking key out of that dude's mouth with the players. I don't know. Trying it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no! Oh god, I'm so violent, Fran! Oh, dead skull is on the wall. I wrecked your ass. Well, now I got a key for 103. And let's just go see where it brings us. Jesus, that was so brutal! And what are those doors bloody? I gotta make blood in order to get inside. It's not the right key, for real? Okay, let's go over here. It's kind of weird. Whoa, hello, Mr. Midnight! I think I need your clock. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna take this. Thanks. Wake up clock. Perfect. Can I pull this lever? Oh, I can read. Oh, whoa. That's an awesome tail you have there, sir. Let's go up. Whoa. Hi. You and your lovely hair. I need this. Thank you. That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. Excuse me. I really need the key hanging behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. Can I have the key? Come on. Let's quit with the bullshit. I've been doing this shit all day, man. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? Huh? I know how to get you out of trees. I've dealt with you kind before. I'm firmly attached. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. What? That's it? Wait, I can brush you. That's what it is. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I forgot I had this brush. 
I don't know, a hair comb? What's that? Wanna try it? It's so pretty and smooth. Oh no, is it dangerous? It can be pleasant. If you do it smoothly. Okay, let's try it. All right, just promise you won't burn me, okay? Well, I'll only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, how cute. <laughs> hey, it worked! Now you're a bunch of flies. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer, and all the Luciferns I've met do this from time to time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Do it! God, get out of my sight, you stupid bugs. Can I grab this thing now? Must be the key. I can smell it. Well, can I? No! Hi, kitty. Oh, what? You want attention? What? What are you doing? Where are you going? Huh? Hi, Larry. Meow. Oh, there's a Kamala, yeah. I forgot about that thing. I can probably toss a water balloon at it. That's a good idea. Time to use my water balloon for some good. Take that! Oh, come on. I missed. Are you shitting me? Come on, Fran. Fran, what is wrong with you? Come on. There you go, Fran. Good job. Goodbye, Kamala. Is it actually going to work? Is he going to leave? Blah! Good job. Well, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, Tree. I'm happy you feel better. I don't feel better. Let me give you something in return. Thanks. You have a stick. A piece of meat. You can plant it if you like. Ah, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I'm, i got to find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Do you not know how you work? You don't make more of you by putting your sticks in the ground. You make more of you by putting your seeds in the ground, man. Did you go to biology class? Stick, help me out here. Aha! Now I got a key. Perfect. Now we can go down, go to room 103, and finally get to the end of what we're doing here. We're in the house of madness, right? Feels pretty mad in here. Okay, let's go into this room here. This is a fancy key we have here. Man, God, it's gonna get weird, isn't it? Yep, this is weird. This is weird. Meow. And now we need to stuff our materials into the kitty. Really? Oh, that's how it works. Nice. Let's stuff more things into the kitty. Keep stuffing into the kitty. Stuff more into kitty. I'm gonna bring the tail back over here in case he brings something. He makes something for me over here. There we go. Keep stuffing my materials into the kitty. Yes, more materials into the kitty. The kitty butt creates all. Maybe this is how I can make things at home, to start stuffing stuff up Larry's butt. Huh? Maybe? Larry, come here, kitty. No, I'm not gonna do it right now. That'd be awkward. There you go. Now make me a clock. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go wake up the mother of all evil with this. Be right back, dude. Um, yeah, you. I have this clock that will wake you. Here you go. Oh, see how annoying it is. There you go. Did that work? Ah, you do look pretty evil, yeah. Beware! I am Mabuka. <laughs> the awakened darkness rises from the earth. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but I need a favor. <laughs> Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a twiny body. Um, excuse me, but I can answer that myself. Yeah, I'm Frambo. A human girl, 11 years old. And I'm very brave, just so you know. A human in Mapuka stand? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. You know, like your son, your little asshole who just kind of walks around and kills people? That bitch, yeah, he brought me here. He ain't good to you either. Uh-uh, honey. Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean, like, cutting my head open? No, I don't think so. I'm too good for that. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Uh, beans? I, I took some pills that look like red beans. So yeah, yeah, I took a whole bottle, bitch. Ah, oh, then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. Hope you find. <laughs> okay, I, I, that's it. That's all I had to do to win. Okay, whatever. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Well, thanks, but uh, what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Do you not know? You were selected by the five realms of the essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Okay, Frodo. The five realms of existence were created to parallel with time. Uh, what? What are you talking about, the keeper of the, the key? Who told you this? The Great Volokas from the Primeve told me everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. 
But you're too young, I must say. Too young, indeed, to be the keeper of the key. Oh, well, there's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? Yeah, I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason. If that makes you feel better. Now, I understand the reason itself, the truth you are seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. <laughs> I thought she was gonna like try to kill me or something. Well, thanks. Thanks for opening your heart for me, creepy animals. Okay, I'm going over here. Oh, this is nice. This is, this is great. What you knitting there, huh? You making a blankie? What are you? You made you made of babies, huh? Some sewed up babies? I saw those before. This is cool. I'm gonna touch this button. Hey, I got a ticket. I'm number seven. Do I get to go in now? Or do I gotta wait? I gotta wait for my turn. I took a number. Lucky number seven. Can I go in? When's my turn? Do you know from somewhere? You, you look like you, you, you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab your little friends with it? <laughs> wow, what a dick. A knitting needle? A ni are you the dead nurse I saw back in the asylum? Oh, do I look dead to you, huh? You little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait your turn in the waiting room. Uh, nurse, I, I don't need medical attention. I just need my cat. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. What about you, huh? You're pretty. Got like six tits made of babies. Wow. What about that creature's body? That creature's body is made out of baby faces. <laughs> I'm going over here. We're gonna end it here, guys. We are super, super close to the end. Like, I actually thought about putting it all in one episode. So, stay tuned. It's gonna be coming out tomorrow, and it's gonna be amazing. Thank you guys so much for being so awesome with the series. It's been so much fun. Really loved playing it, and I'm really excited to show you guys the end. So, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Meow! Holy shit! Whoa, I didn't know that happened! Yeah. Oh my god, she follows my mouse. <laughs> How's it going everyone? My name is Swingpoint and welcome to a game called Franbo. If you've been around this channel for a very long time, all the way back in 2000...